Welcome back. Some of my favorite animals at the zoo are the giraffes. So I am so excited that you can actually now have a giraffe meet and greet at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. I love this. Over the next few weeks, the Pittsburgh Zoo is offering a chance for visitors to get up close and personal with the giraffes in a very private setting. So Mikey Hood is at the zoo this morning and she's going to show us her own encounter and tell us how we can get on this unique experience as well. As you can see, I have a very tall friend with me today. The giraffe happens to be one of my favorite animals. They're unusual and elegant all at the same time, and you can meet and greet them at the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium. I have Tim, who's one of the trainers with me, to explain this beautiful creature. To, can I pet him? Mm -hmm. Oh! Now, who is this? This here's Lewis. Mm -hmm. He's our male giraffe. Um, he's about 13 years old. He'll be turning 13 in just about two weeks. Um, we have one other uh, female giraffe over there at Sox. Mm -hmm. um, Lewis came to us from Los Angeles and then he was um, moved here before he even turned about a year old. Um, and he's actually super friendly um, yeah. due to the fact that he was hand raised um, as opposed to being raised by his mother. Okay. Um, so he was bottle fed. He has, was introduced to people at a really young age. So. He's a big ham, he loves attention. Yeah, so he's used to interacting with yes. people. Okay, and so where are giraffes native? Um, they're native to Africa, mm -hmm. um, different regions, uh, uh, different species are in different regions of Africa. Yeah, and so I think that what makes giraffes so unique is that they're, they're so tall and they have these beautiful long necks. Why, why are their necks so long? Um, so they've just adapted to be a very tall animal um, and they've also adapted that long tongue um, just to help them reach even higher into those trees because mm -hmm. um, they are browsers so they will kind of graze in the trees throughout the day. And you know I always see giraffes eating. How often do they eat and how much do they eat every day? Um, they kind of forage throughout the daytime and nighttime. Um, they don't really sleep often. They only sleep about one to four hours in a 24 hour period. Um, so and they take sporadic naps throughout the daytime and night. So they're constantly eating. Um, but these guys, uh, what they normally get is what's called a wild herbivore diet. Mm -hmm. So they uh, get about five pounds of that in the morning and five pounds in the evening. And then on top of that, between the two giraffes, they eat uh, about one bale of alfalfa per day. Oh, that's... It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so... It's very healthy. <laughs> yes, and then they get lots of different produce. They love greens, their kale, collard greens, mm -hmm. romaine, different vegetables like sweet potatoes and carrots. Good um, diet. You, yeah. You need to follow the giraffe diet. Okay, and so how long will he live? How, how old is Lewis? Um, so Lewis will be turning 13, mm -hmm. um, and giraffes in, under human care, they can live to be uh, in their mid-20s. Um, the oldest giraffe, I believe, in captivity um, lived to be about 30. Okay. All right, Lewis, you've been a great sport. We're going to be back. We're going to come right back to you. So when we come back, we're going to talk about how you can meet these beautiful giraffes even have a, a private party with the giraffe. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Mikey. Oh. We'll be waiting to find out all about that and say hi to Lewis for us. Yeah, hey, Lewis. Yeah. What's yeah. up? You, I mean, <laughs> Lewis was cute, but you kept saying, oh, the uh, tongue. The tongue. The tongue was a little much for me. A little See what long. you learn, though? They eat all day yeah. and sleep very little. I know. They are cute. Very elegant, too. Very. It's a good word for them, elegant. Yeah. So we will be hearing from Mikey coming up a little yeah. bit later on.